So we're going to finish up with uh, a brief description of the Unified Modeling Language. And um, um, what UML is, is it's aimed at object-oriented systems design. Um, and it's independent of design process um, and uh, in that it provides a modeling language, uh, but also, which is semantics and notation, but also provides a um, process of application of that language. So it's a semi-formal language. Um, it is used for discrete systems uh, as opposed to uh, continuous, and it's based on finite state machines. And again, what we're going to see is that one of the tools that is useful for specifying the behavior of um, systems within UML is state charts. Um, and again, semantics is the meaning and syntax is the actual representation of the semantics. So UML consists of these three distinct models. There's a requirements model, structural model, and the behavior model. There are a number of books and, and online tools that you can use for uh, uh, reference, um, including uh, some implementations um, and open source tools that you can use. But the bottom line is the requirements model um, it is kind of a black box model that hides the implementation. And what the requirements deal with are actors and use cases. Um, now, the structural model it addresses classes and how they collaborate. So it looks at, a, at a, and the red, these red items are the, the formal com, um, components of the uh, modeling language. Associations are uh, these relationships among classes. And then there are components, which are basically the executable um, elements, as well as nodes. And that's things like CPUs, I.O., et cetera. Um, and um, state charts of the behavioral models, then and there are, you can actually have a number of different tools, but state charts becomes one of the most popular tools within the uh, UML community. All right. Now, and we talked about, and that's all we're going to go into in uh, state charts at this, or UML at this point. Um, there are some open loop tools you can take a look at um, for playing around with and simulating and modeling behavior of a system um, and um, again implement some of the details with state charts.